Hello Upcycle TV, I'm Stuart. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can fix a piece of timber to a wall. This you might typically use for if you're um, plasterboarding, dry lining, something like that. Lots of reasons why you might attach a piece of timber to a wall, right? And it's all principally the same. Um, the one in this video I'm gonna do is upright, and it's CLS, so it's about two inches thick. So all I'm gonna need for this is brown wall plugs, okay? Good quality ones. You don't want the cheap ones that when you knock them with a hammer, they just, <clears throat> okay, they're just a piece of crap. They're not worth having. So make sure you buy decent wall plugs. Now you can do this without using wall plugs with the, um, uh, plugless screws that you can get and you just drill a hole and the screw goes straight in but for the principle of this video I'm going to do it the old school way with a brown wall plug. I am using just a, just a standard wood screw, gold screw, the size, let me just find the size for you, um, so it's six and they're 100 mil long and bear in mind we're using the brown wall plug okay which will sit in the wall, it, and when the screw goes into it, the wall plug expands and it locks the uh, timber to the wall clamped. And it's a very effective method. So let me show you. Um, just before we get onto that, tool wise, I've got an SDS drill bit and a size 14 SDS masonry drill bit in there. Um, it's got a gold tip on it, which means it's nice and sharp and hardy to go through uh, what we're, we're doing brick now, but um, this is actually for a pallet wall in my workshop studio. And uh, I forgot what I was gonna say. Uh, the block, concrete block, it was going into concrete block. So I needed, you know, you need a decent quality drill bit. Don't bother skimping on um, cheap drill bits because they're, they're not very good, let's be honest. Get a decent quality one and it will make your job so much easier. So, wall plug, screws, SDS drill bit, You'll need a hammer as well, and then something to put your screw into the hole. Um, I'm using a impact driver for this. Um, I love using an impact driver, but you can just use a you know a regular um, driver or yeah, that's about it really. I can't think of anything else you'd use. Before you drill into any wall, make sure that you there are no electrics in that wall before you start um, bzzz and like blowing yourself up. You don't want to do that, right? The impact driver, here we go. There's my impact driver. I've got everything here that I need. So what I've done, uh, let me just give myself some space here before I trip over and make a complete ass of myself. Right, is my hammer on the floor. Okay, so I've cut this piece of CLS and I've done it a nice tight bit. So, so to save it moving around when I'm trying to fix it to the wall, nice, nice tight fit and I'm just gonna hammer it into place. That's half the job done then, isn't it? Um, you haven't got to worry about holding it and all that kind of stuff. So, just knock it into place. That's lovely and rigid there. So what I'm gonna do now, just hang on, sit my hammer up there, right. Let's have a look at this. Okay, so I, one more tool you need is a level. Okay, so here's my level. I put it upright because we're trying to find, make sure that the um, piece of CLS timber is level um, in a um, horizontal, no, not horizontal, in a vertical manner. So yeah, um, that's way out there. So just get my hammer up again. Let's stick that back on there. And hopefully you can see this. So I'm just gonna knock it until I get it level. Okay, so you're looking for the bubble in that level if you've not used one before. Um, just making sure that, I'll just move that again, that it is in the center of the two lines of the bubble. If it's in the middle, that means you've got your timber level Ah, for frick's sake, and then that happens. So not as tight as what I thought it was going to be. Forget getting it level. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put one screw in 
lightly, um, and then I'll level it when it's sort of half fixed in place, and then we can do more from there. So let's get it lined up where I want it. Okay. Cautious that you can't see what I'm doing here. I'm going to have to try and do this left hand. I'm going to look a bit awkward here because I'm not used to working this way around, but we'll just see how it goes. I'm going to go straight through the timber with the SDS drill, straight into the wall, and then I can put my wall plug in. And that's not working very well because I'm all hack handed here. I'm going to have to come down this way, just drilling a hole in the wall, right? Nothing complicated about this. Make sure the level, that uh, you've got your drill level. You don't want to be going at a funny angle. <laughs> Make sure that you go deep enough with that hole so that this can, uh, your wall plug can go in. So just put the wall plug in the hole like that. Hammer, okay? And lightly, but firmly, knock the wall plug in. If it gets stuck and it starts to do that, don't panic. All we have to do, get a screw, get one of your screws, put it in, knock the screw in, and it will take the wall plug in. Okay, wait till the wall plug's completely in the wall. And we'll just take it out with this. Okay. Now we've got our hole in here. I'm going to put that through there. My cat handedness, I'm going to try and get this on here. Now, on my fingers. Right. Now I've lined up the screw into the wall plug. And that's a nice strong hold there. So now um, it's not going to go anywhere. I do need to tighten it up more than that, but it's enough for me to continue to drill the holes. So now we level it up. Okay, not quite there, hammer. Okay, that's good enough. Yeah, there we go, it's nice and level. Right, back to the SDS drill. And then we're going to put, in this instance, um, I'm just going to put one up here, one down there, nice comfortable heights to work with. If you want to put four in um, when you're working at sort of height, that's good. I'm being lazy, I'm putting three in. So now, I'm going to do it slightly differently. In fact, I'm not sure how low down you can see on the camera. So I'm going to just do it about here. So I'm not going right down to where I would normally put this one. Uh, I'll probably just put another one in down the bottom now. Uh, but for the sake of the camera, so this hole would be going somewhere near the bottom, about six inches off the bottom, I expect. So we put a hole in, I hope you can see this. Now we've got the um, CLS in place, lightly fixed to the wall. Gone straight through the wood and the brick at the same time. out a little bit just to um, make sure the hole is going to be enough to get the wall plug in comfortably because it's a nice tight size that we're working with here so wall plug in hammer now this time the wall plug is going into the wood there's still loads of um fight uh, uh, like resistance there. Um, so I'm again, I'm going to do what we did with the wall. I'm going to put the screw into the wall plug. And that was tough. It doesn't... So we've got about a couple of inches sticking out. I'm going to whiz that screw in now. Okay, so that's just a nice big drill bit to fix. Make sure it fits the screw head nicely. And then in we go. Now that's clamped to the wall, that's solid. 
and we tighten this one. Okay, tighten that one up. And I'm going to put the last one um, somewhere at the top, towards the top. And, and that's it. That's how you uh, fix your CLS batten to the wall. I hope you found the video useful. As always, please like and subscribe to the channel. And if you have any comments, drop them into the comments section and I will be happy to um, answer any of those questions. If you need to buy any of the materials or tools or anything that you see in this video, I'll try and put as many links as I can in the description. I'm Stuart and thanks for watching Upcycle TV.